In this clip, I'm just going to run through a few examples of solving systems uh, using Gaussian elimination, uh, just for so you can get some practice. Uh, for this example, uh, I've already numbered the equations 1, 2, and 3, as we usually do. And for this example, I'm going to write it out how you might want to write it out on your paper, because you don't have the benefit of being able to easily erase like I can do on the whiteboard. So our first step, uh, as usual, is to eliminate x in the second equation, because remember we want three variables, two variables, one variable. So to eliminate x in the second equation, we can take negative two times equation one plus equation two. Negative 2 times equation 1 is negative 2x minus 2y minus 2z equals negative 12. And then we add to that equation 2, 2x minus y plus z equals 3. X's cancel out, we get negative 3y minus z equals negative 9. Uh, now you notice I left a, a little gap here, because uh, if you're doing this on paper, this is a handy place to put our new second equation. Just put a single line through that one, so you can still see it and go back and check your final answer when you get it, uh, but then write your, our new equation in here so that you can use it to solve negative 3y minus z equals negative 9. And then also, I, you notice I put this work off to the right here so that there's space underneath the third equation so you can do the same thing we did with the second equation. Because if there was a y term here, we would have to change the third equation twice. Once to get rid of the x, and once to get rid of the y. But in the, oh, and actually we'll, we will have to do it twice here. Now, uh, this work is no longer needed, although on your paper, you know, you can keep working downward. To get rid of our x here, multiply this first equation by negative 3. Negative 3 times equation 1 plus equation 3. Negative 3 times equation 1 gets us negative 3x minus 3y minus 3z equals negative 18. And then we can add equation 3 and get negative 3y minus 4z equals negative 18. And again, single line through and write our new equation. Uh, you may have noticed that I've been leaving spaces if there isn't a variable in a given equation. That isn't essential, but it does make it easier to, uh, if you keep your variables lined up, all the z's and on top of each other, all the y's on top of each other, and all the x's on top of each other. All right. Now, this is our third row, so we need to get rid of that uh, 3y, and we can do that by multiplying negative 1 times our second equation plus our third equation. So that becomes positive 3y, positive z equals positive 9, plus our third equation. And then we get z minus 4z is negative 3z equals negative 9. Now remember our last equation we want to have solved for z, so we can go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to get z equals 3. And now that is the third equation in our row echelon form. From there, we can back substitute to solve the rest of our system. z equals 3, so equation 2 gives us negative 3y minus 3 equals negative 9. Add 3 to get negative 6. Divide by negative 3 to get y equals 2. And then plug both of those into equation 1 to solve for x. x plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. Subtract that over. 6 minus 5 gets us x equals 1. So now we've solved for all three variables, and we can write our solution as an ordered triple. x is 1, y is 2, z is 3. And we always want to go back and check our answer. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. That's good. 
2 times 1, 2, minus 2 is 0, plus 3 is 3, that's good. 3 times 1 is 3, minus 3 is 0, that's good. So that solution checks out, that is the solution to our system. Here's another example of a system we can solve. As usual, we want to get three variables, two variables, one variable. Although well, in this case, our three variable equation will actually have two variables, which is fine. That won't prevent us from solving in any way. First step is still to get rid of that uh, x in our second equation. And we can do that by multiplying our first equation by negative five halves, which seems mean, but every all three of these are twos, which means we'll get an integer result when we multiply by five halves anyway. So, take negative five halves times equation one plus equation two. So that's negative five x minus five z equals negative five plus five x plus three y equals four. Adding those together gets us a three y minus 5z equals negative 1. We can replace our second equation with that. 3y minus 5z equals negative 1. And then we want to get rid of the y. Our third equation already doesn't have an x, which is good. We want to get rid of the y, so we add together negative equation 2 plus equation 3. Uh, which gets us negative 3y plus 3y is 0, 5z plus 4z is 9z. And 1 plus 4 is 5. And then we solve our last equation, dividing both sides by 9, which gets us that z equals 9 fifths. And from here we just plug into our previous equations to solve for other two variables. 3y minus 25 over 9 is negative 1 which is negative 9 over 9 plus 25 gets us 16 ninths divided by 3 gets us 16 over 27. And then plugging into our first equation, we can solve for x. 2 times 5 ninths is 10 ninths. 2 is 18 over 9. Subtracting 10 ninths gets us 8 ninths. Divided by 2 gets us x equals 4 ninths. Which gives us the solution, the order of triple, 4 ninths, 16 20 sevenths, and 5 ninths. However, we always want to check our answers with our original equations, uh, especially when we're dealing with fractions, because it's easier to make mistakes with fractions. Uh, in fact, I've had to re-record this once now because I made a, made a mistake. Uh, 2 times 4 ninths is 8 ninths, plus 2 times 7 ninths, two, sorry, 2 times 5 ninths, which is 10 ninths. 8 ninths plus 10 ninths is 18 ninths, which is indeed 2. That's good. Uh, our original second equation was 5x plus 3y equals 4. We plug those in. 5x gets us 20 over 9 plus 3 times 16 27 gets us 16 over 9. 20 plus 16 is 36. 36 divided by 9 is 4. And our original third equation was 3y plus 4z equals 4. And we can plug into this equation. 3y is 16 over 9. 4 plus 4z, which is 20 over 9. And that is, again, 36 over 9, which is 4. So our solution checks out. And that ordered triple is the solution of that system of equations.